final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore strange new worlds, to discover new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hello boys and girls and welcome to Let's Play Star Trek 25th Anniversary. There were a few games done around 1991 with that title and this is the PC uh, adventure game. Uh, with the new movie out I just got to hankering to do something with Star Trek and well, I greatly enjoy this game so Let's go! First mission. Demon World. Yeah. <laughs> Though the Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful exploration, the galaxy holds many surprises. To be prepared, we are conducting a mock battle with the USS Republic. Captain Patterson reports the Republic is in position and ready to begin, Captain. The Republic is arming weapons and raising shields. I suggest we do the same, Captain. Raising shields. Arming weapons. Yep. This CD version is voiced by the original cast. So you can hear the age from some of them. Alright, and here's we start off with combat. Left button for phasers. Right button for photon torpedoes, let's turn target damage is on. Status of phasers is... You can see it on the top of the view screen to the left. Uh, photon torpedoes are to the right. Radar is just above Kirk. And I'm doing lousy right now. But now I got some shots in too. Goody. Well, this is turning out better. Come on, the Republic. Oh dear. Oh great, and one of my photon torpedo dupes is down. Come on, Scotty, repair that stuff, yeah. One rather unusual aspect about ship-to-ship -ship combat in this game is that both you and the enemy can repair systems rather speedily. Captain Patterson extends his congratulations, sir. Lowering shields and disarming weapons. Hey. Message coming in from Starfleet. On screen, Lieutenant. Jim, the Enterprise is ordered to travel to Pollux 5. The natives report that alien lifeforms have been attacking the settlers near a mine at Mount Ida. You are to report to the High Prelate of the colony. The settlers are members of the Acolytes of the Star Set. The description of the attackers vary, but all say that the attackers resemble creatures from many Earth religions known as demons. Starfleet wants you to determine the nature of these creatures and to resolve the situation without bringing harm to the colonists. Starfleet out. Right, for some reason in the flop unvoiced disc version, the Admiral is male. Well, targeted analysis on. Let's go through the bridge functions. Scotty, like you can tell him to focus repairs on us one system and also to give emergency power. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. Ah, classic. Kirk. Captain's log. Captain's log, which shows you the status of missions you have done. Yeah, this game has several missions which don't really connect. It's meant to simulate the episodic nature of the ori original series. This is beaming down and options. Sulu, Orbit, Shields, Chekhov, um, Weapons, and uh, bring up the Star Map and 
so you can walk around. Uhura, communication spoke. You can ask him for advice or access to ship's computer. I advise referring to the star map as setting a course for the Pollux system, sir. Yeah. From now on, I'll be using keyboard shortcuts for this, just so that show them. Now, star map. This, you might guess, is the copy protection. Pollux is over here. Ah, let's tell, let them know we are here. Message from High Prelate Robert Angel, sir. Welcome, Enterprise. The High Prelate awaits you. Please, beam down and meet with him. That was short and sweet. Standard orbit, Mr. Sulu. Better in standard orbit. Ah, you can get ask computers about background information naturally. All oh, the Enterprise crew members are in there as well as major alien species and such. But let's stick to the mission at hand. Pollux 5 system. An inhabited satellite of Pollux B. Pollux 5 has lately emerged from an ice age caused by large meteor strikes. It has recently been colonized by the acolytes of the star's religious sect. The planet is home to a wide variety of plant life, but insects and other lower life forms are the only known animals. Okay, what about these acolytes? Acolytes, fully acolytes of the stars. Inspired by old human religions, the acolytes of the stars are a group of deists that have colonized several worlds in this quadrant. The acolytes prefer a relatively primitive lifestyle reminiscent of the mid-21st century Earth rural communities. Acolyte missionaries regularly assist nearby Federation worlds during times of need or disaster. Major Acolyte settlements are Nicolasi on Pollux 5, Germania on Maddox 2, and Kentagern on Haven's World. Yeah. yeah, you can't bring up information about these other two <coughs> settlements. We got the name of the actual settlement. Nicolasi, chief colony of the acolytes of the star's religious sect, with over 1,000 members. Nicolasi is isolationist by Federation standards, I, it didn't but has assisted disaster relief teams and geologic surveys. It is led by Robert Angevin. Ah, looks like it skipped this sentence, but... Well, no wonder since looks like it was repeated at the end. Mr. Angiven. Robert Angiven. Fully. High Prelate Robert Everett Angiven. As High Prelate of the Acolytes of the Stars, see Acolytes. On the Galah side, Robert Angiven serves as political and spiritual leader for that religious colony. Angiven is the acting Federation contact on that world and is considered by Federation diplomats to be a fair and capable leader. Hmm. One more thing before we beam down. Demon. Mythological term for malevolent supernatural entities in the service of the devil. Common in many mythologies and religions, most notably Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Hinduism. Right, let's beam down. Will there be... Will we find demons? Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the car. Will the Red Church survive? Find out all about that next time.